My name is Vitality and I would like to introduce the book that we did with amazing guitar player Corey Christiansen and the book is called Killer Technique Guitar. Well the whole purpose of that book is to help a guitar players with any, any playing skills and any playing level to uh, reach a perfect guitar technique, very strong and stable. And plus, well, if you already play guitar you always can find something very helpful that will make uh, probably will help you to solve some problems that you have or some technique issues that you've got and you don't know how to fight with. Well, in my opinion, technique it's a good tool to have because it doesn't matter what style of music you're going to play, you still need to have a strong technique so you can produce a, any musical idea you have. So uh, from this point, the technique, it's not a main target. Our main target is music, but still, at first will be good to have a good guitar technique, stable, like I said before, because you're never going to think about technique when you play, especially when you improvise, you're going to think about musical idea that you want to play. So uh, I will uh, show you some things that we have in the book. For sure we've got way more that will be in that video. So uh, let's talk about that and you will see what you expect to see in a book that we prepare for you. Well, if you already play guitar, you definitely know that. But if you just started, you will notice this later, or probably you already figured this by watching a videos of a different guitar players, that every guitar player got a little bit different approach to a left hand patterns. Well, a lot of the time, in my opinion, it depends on the genre of music you're playing. Well, in our book, we've got three major parts. It's about two finger combinations, three finger combinations, and a four finger combinations. Uh, first of all, I would like to start talking about two finger combinations because, in my opinion, they are widely spread in any style of music and all guitar players definitely use that because the two finger combinations arrive from the most popular scale in the guitar world. It's a pentatonic scale. And if right now I will play all pentatonic scale shapes, you will see that, yes, it's all the time two finger combinations. I mean two fingers in each string and they kind of different and maybe with the different fingers but it's all about same concept. So let me show you that. I will start probably from the most popular shape everybody knows. It's a minor pentatonic shape. <laughs> I just played all forms of minor pentatonic or major pentatonic. It's a lot of different approaches and don't worry about that whole theory here behind. 
probably you just see that all the time I use only two fingers per string, but the combinations are slightly different. So uh, in our book we've got four different patterns for our left hand uh, with the two string form, uh, two fingers on the string, I'm sorry, form, and uh, with all different fingers permutations, so pretty much it's a different order of fingers you can use. Well, right now I would like to talk about, uh, in my opinion, the most exciting one. It's the combination of a first finger and a fourth one. Why I choose a pattern number three uh, first? Because, in my opinion, it's a challenging but easy combination of fingers. Well, definitely pinky is not a very strong finger, and it's good to work on that finger. But, the combination of a first finger with the fourth, it's not as challenging because first finger is pretty strong. So, other combination or combination of other fingers with the fourth finger will be more challenging. What I will recommend is to start to work on your guitar technique and work on your patterns somewhere in the middle of a guitar fretboard. Well, because uh, lower on a guitar fretboard, it's very easy to count your frets, but it's pretty complicated to play stretchy patterns because the frets are slightly wide. When you play somewhere in a higher part of a guitar fretboard, it's very comfortable for a left hand, but frets are too small and without having experience here, you may start to uh, skip more frets than you need. So um, I'll play everything in seventh position as far as I play all the pentatonic scales here. But you may start in position number five or six or eight. I mean, in my opinion, it's pretty much like that is the most comfortable zone for starting uh, working on your guitar technique. Well, I'll choose seventh position, which means that my first finger will be on that uh, fret all the time. And as far as the pattern number three going like uh, first finger, we're going to skip two frets and we use our fourth finger on a fourth fret from a uh, fret that we're going to play with the first finger. Pretty much right now it means we're going to play frets number seven and ten all the time. And we play every note only once. So here we go. <laughs> Now, when we finish, uh, we may return back or we may slightly go to the next position. So we move to one fret higher and uh, play our pattern below on strings. Uh, but we're not going to reverse our pattern, so we're not going to change an order of notes in a pattern. So we go into an eighth position and play uh, down on the strings the same pattern. So here's all together. Now, you probably noticed that uh, with my right hand I use an alternate uh, picking, which is means that if I play first note down, the next will be up, and I never change the order of my right hand motion. So we can play same stuff and with an alternate technique, but starting with an up stroke. Here we go. Well, we also may play the same thing with just a downstroke, which is very popular in rock mu music because you play power chords this way. So here how it is. Also, we may uh, play uh, everything with an upstroke. It's a little bit challenging because upstrokes are always weaker than downstrokes, but it's a good thing to work on for sure. Well, this is what we did. We play uh, pattern number three with just the two positions but with all right hand picking possibilities. Now, the other cool thing you can do is to stay on the same note in a pattern more than one uh, stroke. So pretty much what it means is that you can play every note more than once. You can play two times, three or four. If you are familiar with the uh, music theory, it means that you're going to play not only quarter notes, you're going to play eighth notes, triplet, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. But don't worry if you don't understand that. Well, uh, as far as uh, your music experience will go, you'll figure that out. But right now I'll show you how can you play every note, let's say, twice. We're gonna stay in the same tempo. This is what I want to mention. I'm not turning metronome yet because I want to show you uh, 
how you can work on the pattern without focusing on the rhythm yet just to try to combine your fingers uh, or left hand fingers and the right hand picking uh, technique together and later for sure you need to start to work with the metronome and I'll show you this uh, towards the end of the video what you can do with the metronome but right now we're gonna play every note in the same pattern two times but with the same tempo <laughs> Also may use all other right hand picking possibilities we can play an alternate picking with an upstroke we can play downstroke picking and upstroke picking but I want to continue and play every uh, note in our pattern three times which is well again in theory equal to a triplet eighth notes but right now don't worry about that too much <laughs> we can do is to play every note four times which is equal to 16th notes but again if it's very very uncomfortable for you to think this way or if you don't know completely what it is don't worry <laughs> Once again, combine that with all possibilities for the right hand and you've got a lot of different exercises. Well, uh, right now let me uh, turn my metronome and show you what can you do with the same exercises in relation to the beat of a metronome. So now, every note in our pattern we're going to play a little bit different because we're going to play in relation to metronome. Which means that if we're going to play every note in our pattern only once we're gonna play with the one click of a metronome so I set my metronome on a hundred beats per minute and hear how it sounds one two three four <laughs> Right now it's more correct because we play actually with a certain rhythm so we don't let ourselves to slow down or speed up. Well, if we choose our next right hand possibility and we're going to play every note in our left hand um, pattern twice, we should play twice faster because right now over one click we need to play two notes. So this is how it's going to be. One, two, three, four. <laughs> may play uh, every note in the pattern three times so right now which means that we're gonna subdivide our metronome beat on three equal halves so we're gonna play a half faster than we just played when we subdivide our beat on two equal halves so here's gonna be <laughs> Thank you. 
And the last combination is when we play every note in a pattern four times, pretty much right now, it means that we're going to play a four times faster than we just played at the very beginning. Because right now, every metronome click we're going to subdivide on a four equal parts. So here what it is. Well, as far as you um, will work on that, you will see how same pattern will get more and more comfortable for your left hand, uh, and especially when you work on uh, more complicated patterns for your right hand because you're going to stay in the same note for a longer time. So, for example, if you're uh, very comfortable with playing that, you may play a six notes over one pattern. So it's kind of like very complicated name for it in the music. It's a sextuplet, but that is very fast. And it's a uh, kind of thing that's used a lot with uh, guitar players from metal uh, genres of music. They do this a lot. <laughs> how uh, by working on the same thing but turning just simple metronome you can increase your technique and increase your speed very quick so this is why don't rush don't rush when you start better play slow our whole target here is to play controlled and comfortable and not rush because speed it's not the most complicated thing when you're learning how to play on the guitar the most complicated thing in my opinion is the proper technique because if you reach that the speed won't be a problem at all. So, right now let's move and talk a little bit about three uh, finger combinations. So, uh, in my opinion, they are still very, very, very uh, kind of popular in a, a rock music, so, but more contemporary rock music. So, here we go, let's talk about that. As well, in our book, we've got some three fingers combinations, and here they are. It's a combination of a first three fingers chromatically. It might be next three fingers, finger number two, three, and four. It's the fingers one, two, four. Fingers one, three, four. And finger one, two, four, but with a little stretch. So right now I would like to talk a little bit more about that pattern. From one uh, point of view, it's pretty complicated pattern because we're going to use our pinky and it's a little bit stretched. But from another, it's not that complicated because we're going to use a pretty strong fingers, finger number one and finger number two. So right now, um, we're going to use fingers one, two, four, and between each finger combination, we're going to skip one fret. So here we go, we're going to play the same way as we just did with the two fingers combination. So every note is going to be played only one time. Now, we're going to play the same thing but starting an up stroke. Everything was just a downstrokes. Everything was an upstrokes. which is a combination of an alternate picking and same direction picking. So if we start to play with downstroke and play alternate, we play down, up, down. And now when we go into the next string, we're not going to start from an upstroke. We still play same pattern, down, up, down. 
pretty much on every new string we're gonna start and play same right hand pattern so here is how it's gonna be it's gonna be down up down down up down so pretty much right now we slide from one string to another or play with uh, two strokes in the same direction But as far as we reach our high string, we go into the next position and reverse our motion, we go on down on strings, we can also reverse our picking pattern and start with an upstroke, play up, down, up, and go to the next string with an upstroke again. So it's going to be up, down, up, up on the string number two. So how it's going to look like? I want to mention that that technique is very good but you should work on that as a last possibility for your right hand because you need to be sure that you've got very strong alternate technique you also have got a strong one direction technique like a downstroke or upstroke and only after that you may work on that hybrid technique to make sure that everything you play here is under your control and you never guess because well that technique is uh, very helpful from one side but won't be from another if you play without a very strong control. Also, same pattern we can play uh, with a different amount of uh, right hand strokes, so which means that every note in the pattern we can play one time, two times, three times, or four times. And we can do this with a metronome as well, so this is how we can um, reach a different uh, speed levels and a different uh, tempos. Or we also can learn how to play different type of notes. So when we play it one time, it's a uh, quarter note. When we play it two times, every note in the pattern over one beat, and it's going to be an eighth note. When we play three times each note, and right now uh, all the three times will be over one beat, means we're going to play triplet eighth notes. And when we play four times, we play sixteenth notes, so we subdivide our beat on a four equal parts. So here how it's going to be. This is our count one two three single notes in our pattern we can play twice so it's going to be a little bit faster or actually twice faster than quarter notes so one two three four <laughs> We can play uh, every note three times and right now or one click we're gonna play uh, three notes so it's gonna be three times faster than we play uh, just a one note or it's just gonna be half faster than we just play two notes or one beat so one one two three four <laughs> So may play a four times uh, every note in the pattern, which means it's going to be a sixteenth note. They will, will be pretty fast. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And again, like I showed you with the two finger patterns, you can play a uh, six times, which is a uh, three groups of three twice faster, or it's a fancy name for it will be a six sextuplet. So right now, or one click, we're gonna play six notes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Pretty nice. 
nice, right? And it's widely used in some progressive or metal music. Well, um, I guess uh, last what I want to say uh, that in the book we've got so many different combinations of uh, those ideas. We also got a string skipping ideas, horizontal moving ideas, and a fingering um, permutations pretty much, which means that every pattern you can play in many, many different possible ways. So uh, this is why the book I'm sure will be very helpful for any level, for a guitar player with any skills. And we've got a great time working on that book with Corey, so I wish you have good time as well while you're working on information that we'll put there. So good luck in your music journey and develop your killer technique.